Earlier in the show, we got some insight into how great cities work. It doesn't all just magically come together. There are an immeasurable amount of factors at play that all contribute to keeping the whole thing moving forward. Tony Elvin understands that concept, and he's traveling around the world spreading the gospel of social development entrepreneurship on behalf of the Longa Quarter. Well, you may be asking yourself, just where is this Langa Quarter, and what exactly is social development entrepreneurship? Well, we got answers, or at least we can introduce you to the man who does. It would be Tony Elvin. Welcome to BK Live, sir. Hi, thank you for having invited me here. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Thanks yeah. for being here, Tony. So, yeah, my pleasure. so tell us, <laughs> where, where <laughs> is it? What where is it? What is it? Earth is this place? <laughs> um, it's um, it's uh, so Langa is a township in Cape Town, mm -hmm. and it's the first planned township in South Africa, the oh, oldest wow. black, yeah, it's, it's a very historic neighborhood, and um, it's the, uh, it, it was once the oldest black part mm -hmm. of the whitest city mm. on the African continent. Wow. Yeah, and it's, a, it's an incredible, it's an incredible space. And um, within this community, we've created a small. We've created an area which we call the Langer Quarter, mm -hmm. which we're making cleaner, greener, and safer, in order to start growing business. So, what were some of the challenges when I hear the oldest black quarter mm -hmm. yeah. in the whitest, most yeah. segregated <laughs> yeah, yeah, city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking mm, they probably have a hard road to Ooh, hoe to yes. get it turned around. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. what were some of the challenges you're up against? Well, um, it's it's. It's a head thing, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you're dealing with a community that's been at the receiving end of not a nice history for such a long time right. that it renders it, in some regards, dysfunctional, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in that they can't move forward because they're um, needing to be heard first. Mm -hmm. But um, in that environment, there's lots of missed opportunities. You know, so tourism is huge in South Africa. South Africa is still very, very popular as a tourist destination because of Nelson Mandela. Um, that drew me there. And um, so they need to be able to capitalize on that. But so I, I'm in an environment. I live and work. I live in the, in the township now, okay. which is sounds strange, but it's 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 cool, man. It's the best thing I've done in my life, in fact. And um, so I'm there trying to develop economic opportunities, businesses, and jobs um, for the community based around story, mm -hmm. tourism. So what yeah. brings you to Brooklyn now, Tony? Um, because of a Brooklyn-based organization, in fact, run, headed by a fantastic lady called Clarissa Cummings. The organization's called Urban National. Mm -hmm. And um, she was a fellow tra traveler who was uh, seduced by Cape Town, so we met, <laughs> so we met there. Yeah. And um, she is, you know, between the two of us, we're, we're looking at areas where, which are traditional, not, traditionally not easy places to develop. They have, but they, so there's lots of similarities between Langer and Brooklyn. So she's based here now. We're forming connections so we can share ideas. Um, Brooklyn's a lot further down the road. Mm -hmm. Parts of Brooklyn a lot further down the road than Langer. Some might, some challenges around that as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the whole gentrification issues, it challenges around that. But mm -hmm. in terms of best practice, ideas, this space, for example, I've been looking at the art here, which is phenomenal. We want to be art driven Very and cool. music and Langer has a great jazz and history, a jazz history. So using jazz to develop the community um, in the same way that art seems to be at the heart of what you guys are doing here. There's a lot of similarities. Well, you spoke about mm -hmm. those best practices. I wondered about that go between because there's mm. a lot of areas and parallels in Brooklyn that I can imagine mm. correspond with the Lango Quarter. And I wonder what the exchange is, what you've learned here and what we can steal from you that you've done right before the gentrifiers move in and kill everyone who's already there. <laughs> well, do you know, firstly, there's the whole um, issue around the term gentrification itself. Mm -hmm. When is it gentrification and when is it development? Right. And um, why is it gentrification and why is it development? Um, and so the, just the challenges around that, and I think that's a debate that's an ongoing. Right. And I think as long as one creates spaces where the debate can be had, mm -hmm. and all the stakeholders are around the table, not just the developers or the people who are developing business and property, but the community, and everyone is at the table all the time, that's the most important part, while we're thrashing it out, while we're working out what's development, what's gentrification, is yeah. it good, is it bad, is it class, is it race, you know. I think everybody has to be at the table at the same time throughout the whole process. And, um, you know, you guys have been doing it for a lot longer. And I'm sure there's uh, some things that have worked well and things that haven't. And, um, and it's about partnership, I think, at the end of the day, between the community and business makers. So did you come here looking for some partners? Uh, <laughs> do, do, do you know, I think I've come here looking for property now. 
whatever. Get in line. Uh, I would love. Um, do you know? Do you know that there's <laughs> such a nice energy in in. The, I've got family from um, in, in in Brooklyn. Okay. I mean, the last time I was here was 20 years ago, so a lot has changed. Yeah, oh, welcome and, back. Yeah, thank you. And um, and uh, it's it's got a great energy. It's 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 seductive. It's attractive, mm -hmm. and um, people are drawn to. Um, places which work socially. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not without its challenges, but you want. You know, walking around. There's a lot that's working, and um, just little things. You know, like seeing places for bikes to be parked and hmm. the streets being swept and areas being. We call it lit and loved. You know, lit and loved. Yeah. All right. You know, and um, you know. So I had a really nice evening yesterday in a in a in a local local restaurant and people enjoy themselves you know and talking and communicate that's attractive and I and so um, I've, I've been here for a little while in the States now I think this is my fifth or sixth day and um, you know what's not to love about Brooklyn is so much it's just it's I don't know it's an iconic brand as well mm -hmm. you know more from overseas it's Brooklyn is yeah. is loaded with stuff you know it's a, it's a world brand and um, you know being here it, there's a lot of good stuff going on yeah yeah mm. it sure is yeah we've got yeah. a lot of artists and musicians and people a kind of all different walks um, that come together here which it mm. seems like it's kind of like what you're trying to do yeah. uh, in the quarter how do you bring all these different people together and how much how much of it is going door to door how much of it is uh, marketing how much of it is just urban planning and the way you create spaces well, do, do, do you know I, I um, there is a, there is a, we have an approach which is, one is called fail fast, succeed faster. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So don't be, don't be frightened of failure or mm -hmm. messing up because when mm -hmm. you're messing up you're learning, you know, so wherever there's tension. So I, I do social enterprise development and social enterprise in particular are businesses which are people, planet, profit. Mm -hmm. So for, so we have a triple bottom line, people, planet, profit. Mm -hmm. And a for profit business is it's just a single bottom line which is profit. So within that people, planet, profit paradigm, there is inherent tension, mm -hmm. and there will be. And how you navigate that space is really important. And you just have to, you have to, everyone has to remain within the conversation. And there's also something which is very important, is how do you support the local obsessive nuts, I call them. <laughs> there's always somebody doing a bit of gardening, a bit of cooking, a bit of this, they're doing it. Mm -hmm. They're doing it already without being paid a lot of the time. Right. You need to support those because there is development happening. There's always development happening in the community. And they sometimes get you know, looked at last, I think. Or you pushed know? out. Or pushed out, right. you know, or pushed out. And um, so all I've done in Langa, I'm not, I haven't invented tourism in Langa. Um, all I'm doing is trying to make it viable and it needs to be clean, green and safe. It needs to be clean, green and safe and that's a lot of parallels be between Langer and Brooklyn. I'm walking around most of Brooklyn, I've had, a, not most of Brooklyn, I've walked between different, yeah. different um, demographics and across the board it, it's lit and loved, it's clean. There's mm -hmm. something working at, at, at a level and I think from that basis you can start you know, doing what you need to do. So what can uh, Brooklynites do? Is there an opportunity to get in on the ground floor in Langa and like set up your homestead over in Cape Town? Well, um, I think I, I've been working in partnership with, with Urban National. Mm -hmm. Urban National, um, they understand um, the, so they're, they're based locally, they're in Brooklyn and we need, you know, you can be involved in the Langa project whether you, whereby it be you're a tourist, so you come and visit us if you go to Cape Town, and Cape Town is a beautiful place. Yeah. And um, so rather than just go to Table Mountain, the waterfront, and the traditional place, which are all beautiful, by the way, um, you know, maybe stay in the Langa Quarter. We've got a 40-bed hotel in the Langa Quarter made up of people's individual homes. Yeah. Uh. And yeah, so it's a, like a, we're, we're going to get 50 homes eventually, each with two bedrooms. So when you're choosing to stay in Cape Town, maybe choose to stay somewhere a little bit different. And then also partnerships with local organizations here who are a lot further down the road than we are. Mm -hmm. um, they have a lot to offer us and hopefully we can offer in return a different way of viewing development as well. Excellent. All Thanks right. So for coming. Line this quarter, is yeah. visit. So Urban when you come National. and visit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. We'll see you on yeah. the other side. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you for the invitation. Yeah.